Hello and welcome to a very special interaction with a man who will definitely go down in history. We are talking about CP Gurnani who has taken over as the CEO of Mahindra Satyam. Thank you for joining us CP. Thank you, Trina. Did you ever see yourself in the sport? You are under so much of spotlight. Everyone is chasing you, tracing you. Did you ever imagine yourself being here? To me, it's a normal day. I frankly, when I look at it, when there, when I was involved in a company which has hundred million dollars, or a company which I am now involved with, which is a billion dollar plus, the challenges remain similar. Though here. I look at it not only the challenges because there are more challenges but there are more opportunities. Mm -hmm. So to me I am a doer and I make things happen and that's where I excel and uh, my other area is that I enjoy working with people. I, you know, the Does that scare you the expectations because you know never before in history something like this has happened where you had a fraud hit company, government stepping in, somebody else buying it and trying to turn it around. I would Let's look back for a minute. Yes, this company has, an, has had, had an unusual pause. And that, you may call it a period where everything was chaos, everything was a tirage, and uh, employees didn't know what their future is, customers didn't know what their future is. And from there on, you come to a state where everybody confronts the reality. They, they realized that yes, there was an inflated revenue, there were inflated number of people, there were inflated infrastructure, mm -hmm. and that we need to now accept the reality, take into account the external circumstances, and also take into account what the real financial situation is, and to build on top of it. Sure, we'll come to the reality, but let's step a wee bit back. In December end, that's, I remember, that's when I did that story of Tech Mahindra as eyeing Satyam. And, you know, you were active from the day one on this particular deal. Was it by default that you were, you know, the way you were involved in the deal that you uh, ended up being the CEO of the company or it was a very deliberated sort of decision uh, at, at the Mahindra quarters? I, I would say that the uh, decision was obviously taken by the board by the Tech Mahindra board, which has independent directors, which has BT directors, and uh, the directors from Mahindra. Uh, yes, I was involved, but uh, let me actually correct it. We, I was involved from September onwards. Really? And uh, in September, we did the strategy war room for Tech Mahindra, which Anand personally presides over. It's a very, very extensive exercise. Mm -hmm. I mean, we take into account a McKenzie model mm -hmm. of evolving a strategy mm -hmm. where you look at not only what you are today, but what you want to be in about five years down, uh, down the line. And uh, the strategy which was signed off by the board was number one, Tech Mahindra will continue to remain on its trajectory of being the leading telecom communications, connectivity company in the world. Mm -hmm. The second part was that the next stage of growth, while it will come from being a better telecom service provider by becoming a player in applications, networks, services, security products, value-added services, but the real next peg of growth is going to come from enterprises. Mm -hmm. So we need to get into what is called enterprise applications, enterprise networks, and in enterprise operations. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, now it is open secret that Satyam was one of the companies which was on the board, the companies that we would look at either acquiring or look at merging with. Mm -hmm. So the open secret is that uh, I have been involved, Vineet has been involved, Sanjay and Anand have been involved in uh, trying to convert Tech Mahindra from not only a telecom significant player, but to become an enterprise significant.